Hey there, welcome back to the Big Ski Family, episode 10 of our winter season one. Crazy how much time is flying by. We are back in our home. Yes. In Bend, Oregon. Yes. Yes. Travel is fun, but home, there's no place like it. There's no place like home. No doubt about it. We left West Yellowstone last Thursday. Thought we were gonna head out Highway 20. Thought it'd be a 12 hour drive or so, but no. There's eight to 11 foot drifts. Shutting down in Highway 20. And so police officer we talked to said, hey, go north and that'll be a shortcut. And lo and behold, there is an avalanche. So guys, what do you see? Uh, avalanche. This is amazing. Look at all the debris. Look at this, this is probably a good couple hundred yards. So we see the big semi truck. He is parked on the side of the road, tells us there is an avalanche down there. So we turn around. In the meantime, he, tra he turns around in front of us. Gets stuck. And is stuck. So we are blocked. An avalanche on one side and a semi truck on the other side. We got out of there. Yes. Guy with a big old beast tractor loader comes and digs out the semi truck and he was there to clear out the road and I thought, hey, maybe we'll wait for him to clear the avalanche. And with that loader, I didn't think it would take that long. He says, dude, there's like five different chutes right here. One of them's gone. He says, if these others go, which they're prone to going and could go any minute, he says, this place is a wasteland. You shouldn't even be here. Get out of here, go back the other way. Got to drop off in Spokane because of our new route. Went right through Coeur d'Alene and Got Post to see Falls. your brother, yeah. Wade, and um, His Jocelyn, wife, Jocelyn, and their kids, Cadence, and Nightly. Nightly, yep, yeah. that was super fun. So that was awesome. But it didn't get in the home here, it didn't get to my parents' house in Bend until 2. 12.30. Yeah. Anyways, we get here and our house is completely snowed in, literally two to three foot solid snow all through the driveway, walkways, everything. Couldn't even think of getting in there, so we stayed at my parents' for that entire day and another night, and then worked on clearing snow. truck going zero miles an hour almost got grandpa Barrington Baylor and Bentley whole crew I'll tell you what I was so proud of Barrington and Bentley yeah. um, and Baylor to be honest yeah. with you all three of my boys jumped in to help and Barrington and Bentley shoveled all day long Baylor was so good with the Bobcat you know I kept getting it stuck in the snow it was really weird it was really icy and he gets in there and could finesse it and did a phenomenal job. It was so fun to get back home because our grandchildren and oh. our oldest daughter, Katie, and her husband are here in town. Yes, Katie, Elisha, and Leon, Lucy. Mama Nisi is here. I'm used to FaceTiming him and there I was in real life. It was really cute.
had the treat of having Kyla come out and join us. Yes. Which is such a gift. Kyla's our second Ken oldest. She's from Ken she's in Kentucky. She just got married about two and a half months ago. Yeah. And she came and joined us. It's just great to have all of our children under the same roof at the same time. Yeah, her husband Adam had some business trips uh, that he had to go take and he's like, if I'm not gonna be here, maybe you can fly out and see your parents. So thank so you, Adam. We took her to breakfast this morning and had a great time. Yes, we did. So, just the two of us. Yes, a little date. We had a fun, uh, unique experience this week, and uh, Katie and Elisha had us on their podcast. Yes. What's it called? Now That We're a Family. Now That We're a Family. Yes. If you haven't checked out Now That We're a Family podcast, it's on iTunes, and, and it was absolutely a treat to be interviewed by both Elisha and Katie, and they do such a great job. So some of the questions that they ask us were, um, you had 11 kids, how did you not just become parents, but remain lovers? They asked a second question, and it was, what was your toughest season? So number three was, what's one thing you, you wish. wish you knew as a newlywed? And I just wanna take this opportunity to invite anybody who is interested as a newlywed, you've been married one or two years, to attend our seminar, which is April 12th through the 14th. And we would love to have you. It's up here in Bend, Oregon. There was one other question there they asked, and it was, how do you make decisions as a team? And it was fun answering yeah. those questions. It was so challenging. So if you wanna hear the answers to those, check them out at Now That We're a Family. We had a really fun um, experience this week again. One of our dreams as a family is to ski around the world, and we can't do it alone. And so it's really been fun to find partners that get a vision for what we're trying to do and encouraging families to get outdoors and to share experiences together. And Spy Goggles got on board with what the Bixie family is doing. They've sponsored us and it was so fun to open their gift yeah. to us this week. And it was brand new goggles for every member of the family. Yeah. But you went out today, it was awesome. a bachelor, oh. and they were all commenting on how awesome their goggles were. Vision so, is everything. You. Without vision, the people perish. So thank you, Spy Optics. back on Mount Bachelor! Yeah, so excited! So good to be back. Yeah. And again, oh, yeah. loving the view with these spy goggles, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, yeah. Look at those oh, yeah. spy. And yours have french fries on them.
today was super fun because we celebrated Caroline's 18th birthday. It was a big surprise. Yes. We had some of her dearest friends. One flew up from Big Bear Lake, California, your friend Ellie. Some friends here local, families that she knows and loves, kids that she babysits, parents that she loves, and my grand, my parents and her siblings, yeah. all of her siblings. It's really fun. It was precious. Waiting for Caroline to show up. And we got everybody quiet. Oh, no. Look at this. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get down. 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 Happy birthday. Is that so fun? Everybody like, just worked. Oh. oh, I miss you, baby. I miss you. Yeah. I would have been surprised. Yeah. It looked so good. She loved it. Oh, yeah. Awesome beer. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. We got the Oh, yeah. Happy the birthday. Oh. Bentley, you wearing them out? Yeah. Good to see the brothers. Thanks for being here, guys. Kim and M. Kim and M. I'm so excited about it. see you guys. Wasn't that funny? Yes. That was, <laughs> that was awesome. awesome. Bye, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just meeting you. your friends. Yes, isn't that fun? <laughs> Met on a shuttle bus. I love that. Yeah. Oh. Colorado. Places. Oh. There they are. the deed. for this week if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and comment tell us your thoughts tell us what you would like to hear from the big ski family or what you would like to know just a quick snippet we're here for about 10 days before we head down to Squaw Valley Lord willing and then to Mammoth and then to Southern California and we can't wait to see many of the friends and family that we know along the way um, as those are local mountains where we've spent a lot more time than some of these others. Yeah, if you're on that route, be sure to check us out. We would yes. love to ski with you. We would love to ski with you. Yeah. Anyways, have a great week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.